All right, today I'm trying to work on replacing the display in Space Station. I got this new one from Pinball Life, but see here when you try and get it close, it can't get close enough to the board to mount against the standoffs. And it also places it a little too far away for these contacts. And the reason is there's a small nipple on the back of the display from the factory on these replacement ones which doesn't line up with the hole that comes in the board so I'm desperate not to spend a whole bunch of money on an LCD display or try and find another used display that maybe might work if I'm lucky so what I've done is I've marked what I think is a safe amount of material to take off on the back of this you can see where I've marked it with the blue marker so I'm gonna try and remove that blue paint and then stop and see if it gets it close. There's really not too much distance I need to recover to get it up next to the standoff. So if I can get just a little bit off of it, I think I might be able to make it work. The only reason I'm attempting this is because, well, let me refocus here. As you can see, there's a little tiny bubble inside there, and I think I can keep her moving off till about that point and be okay. I'm going to give it a try and go. It was my own fault buying this display without paying attention to what uh, Pinball Life had for in warnings on it. So I'm out to 50 bucks pretty much anyway because I'm not one of those people that's going to just return it to them. So I'm going to give it a try and see if I can get it to work. And I'm going to record what happens, whether it works or it doesn't work, and then post this online. Okay, first things first. I was going to try and mount it in something like this, but I'm afraid of putting stress on it as I'm trying to remove the material. So I've come up with a different idea that I'm going to try instead. So I'm going to switch and show you that before I start. Okay, here's what I've done instead now. I've put two clamps on either side of the pipe, but I didn't over tighten them because I don't want to stress this glass out too much um, and make it maybe leak or cause a seal or somewhere to leak on it. So I just tighten it on just enough that it's not going to move as I try and remove the material. Alright, removing the materials next. Alright, here goes nothing. The silicone bit wet down at pretty much maximum RPM. Doesn't seem to be getting too hot, so that's pretty good. But I'm not really making a lot of progress. I'm dipping the blade or the uh, bit in water every once in a while. Keep it cool. Okay, that's getting a little warm now. I'm gonna let it cool off for a little bit. Well, I haven't gotten it all off, but I'm pretty darn close. I'm gonna see how this fits. All right, as you can see, I got a little bit more I'm gonna do. It's pretty darn close right now to fitting. I test fit it in there and two out of the three standoffs I can get to lay the glass to lay perfectly flat, perfectly flat on it. Um, the third one, not quite. And I can get the contacts just sort of in the holes, not enough that I'm happy with. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more off to get it where I was predicting I needed to be at. And hopefully it'll be okay. I'm really still hoping that the glass 
where you can see the bubble in it. it wasn't just an optical illusion or there's no kind of optical illusion going on there where I'm not really seeing the true height of that air bubble where the air is going to start coming out or the gas is going to start coming out. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna make it work, whatever it takes. Hopefully I haven't let out the gas or the plasma yet. Okay, try and show you where I'm at here on this. I'll try and do a before and after shot so you can see kind of where we're at. But I didn't take a whole heck of a lot off, but I think I can get her pretty close now on the board. If I'm lucky. Okay. I got it on there. It looks pretty good right now. You can see everything's pretty much flat on this board. It's all ready to go. I did have to turn this stand right here, the standoff, you can see it turned it diagonal because the to get it down far enough so that it displays correctly through the front panel, I had to make sure um, that it was down farther on the board and uh, I had to turn this diagonal to get it down further on the board because the nipple's right about here on the board. So, so far so good. I hope that was the hard part. Though I know soldering all these is gonna be tons of fun. And with any luck, it'll work.